Then we chat to you for the report and we show you anybody on my mention. Bitch, it's not a day, Cassa. Last time, my Cassa, you are my team for you, and any part of the motion. A cock of penny is only brotherhood initiation and a bear. Our first match to 15 to 20 of March. Satan and not Satan and a year arrangement, a cock of penny initiation and a bear. Any annual celebration and a bear, a cock of penny Satan. I spoke about last year how we are going to do our annual celebrations based on 1st March to 15th to 20th March. But an incident happened. We lost our grandfather. A tree in our grandfather in the Zurich Brotherhood. A standing block in the Brotherhood of Zurich family. That is my grandfather. He was for most of people in the Brotherhood never knew his full name. He was called Sayyid Muhammad. Said Muhammad was a great man in the Zurich Brotherhood. Today I want to observe a silence of one minute to show our sincerity, to show our lust to our grandfathers. I want us to observe one minute to his rest in peace in wherever he is. May the soul of our departed father rest in perfect peace. He was a tree in the Zulu Brotherhood. He was a father of all fathers in the Zulu Brotherhood. What was hard, he solved it for us. What was soft, he solved it for us. What was difficult to solve, he provided a solution to it. But God says that what we love is what he also loves. On the 12th of March, because our initiation was going to be held somewhere 15th to 20th, on the 12th of March, that God called our departed father back to his creator, the one who created his life and everything into his hands, calling him, I lost my grandfather and the brotherhood lost a strong departure. The brotherhood lost a strong tree. The brotherhood lost a strong grandfather of the old grandfathers of the supremacy. That is Sayyid Muhammad of the Zerid Brotherhood. I don't know what to say. The only thing I have to say is that his departure should strengthen the brotherhood and bring fortune and bring long life, prosperity, riches and blessings to the Zurich Brotherhood. He was going to be part of the annual celebration. But due to Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the universe and the earth, the creator of every soul, who he blessed and who he take it from. There is no any human being who can boast of his life, who can say that he is the owner of his life, unless the creator. The Creator called our grandfather the time that we needed him most. That was the reason why the annual celebration was not held on 15th to 20th of this March. But I urge every brotherhood, every member in the Zurich Brotherhood, that his departure is not a destroy of the Zurich family. His departure is not a problem of the Zurich Brotherhood. Because the Zurich Brotherhood is not held by one person, it's not held by two person, it's not held by five person, it's held by countless of countless of people in the Zurich Masters of the Grand Masters of the Zurich family. But his departure has made a great loss from the family. That is Chifu. He is the Grandmaster of the Zurich family, member of the Grandmasters of the Zurich family. May he so rest in perfect peace. And the spirit that he has given to us, strengthen in the Zurich Brotherhood. I chief Nazami Chet here for Nanipa the motion say, Zurich Brotherhood, and your brotherhood and over room, now Kunipa, now Jinipa, now Kunipa, Afanipa, Moja, and I will be there. Join the Zurich Brotherhood. Everybody who buy, everybody who transform, everybody who come out. 
Last year, my car sent me break, and they are calling initiation. Any, you have been able to get sick a year with 2022 with but your grandfather, your papa, a war, Mahma Zain, the new one is so well, and you know, we have a 12th of March, and in Tia, they are to me at initiation. But you have been able to final ritual, the final funeral, a war last week. But first and then above I do, first and above I do on the second or third of April. So if you have initiation, you have for distraction at the above. So now we see that the best shifting the cock on May on the 15th of May, Saturday, you are here in the fitter. And we, yeah, we have seen happiness due to the in the fitter. So that will initiate, they will do the annual celebration on the 15th to 20th of May. Call me on my YouTube page 054-0222-442. Look at my YouTube page and call me and all your problems will be solved. And I'll tell you what we can do. What we can do, I'll tell you that we can do it. And our problem will end and achievement will come ours for the rest of our life. I urge every human being to join the Zorik Brotherhood, the Brotherhood of Long Life, Prosperity, Riches and Achievement. This 2022, I don't want to talk much. Russia and Ukraine issue has brought so much destruction into the economic crisis, has brought so many economic crises into the West African world, into the world war. I want to tell you that when you bring the brotherhood, whether Ukraine is fighting, whether Russia is fighting, Americans are fighting, China are fighting, money will be produced from the Zurich brotherhood for us to enjoy and live long life. Do you know the way that pains me when the Englishman says that the money is the root of all evil? Which evil? You, the mental body, is the evil, but not the money. So we always contradict with these English words. God says that money is in abundance in my domain. Seek for it and I'll give it to you. And you, you will seek for it. And God Almighty Allah will give it to you. We shouldn't be deceiving ourselves. We shouldn't be deceiving ourselves thinking that we are deceiving God. When will God bless you with money, you build machine, you get fine fine woman, uh, you give your woman in skinny, be nice. You are in the room enjoying your woman, enjoying alcohol, you buy champagne, big big champagne, 1.5 million US dollars, 2.5, you enjoying your, 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 your world, and you sit in your bedroom with your big chair, say that money is the root of all evil. Which evil? Your machine that you are like, are you evil? Then the house is not evil. You are the one who built the house. You are the evil. You are not the. It's not God. God bless you with money for you to do good and get gender. Do good and get heaven. And you tell God that money is the root of all evil. Which one? So are you telling God that, God, you are a mistake of creating me? You are a mistake of giving me riches? Oh, my brother and sisters. In tradition, in Islam, in Christianity. If the God bless you with poverty, he said, well, what did I do? What have I done? I have worshipped in the money that I've been in. Are you for real? Are you normal? Which one to go? Money is the root of all evil. No. God said that I will not ever account for whoever made the money. I will, you will account for how you spend the money. Not how you make the money. How do you spend the money? God says that I have money, I have long life, I have riches in abundance in my domain. Pastors in, in Christianity, malams in Iman, traditionalists, please let's read very well. We shouldn't be deceived by our fellow human beings. We shouldn't be deceived. When they put money down, ask you, this money is it evil, can you differentiate it? Never. We shouldn't be deceived, my brothers. We should learn what we are doing. When you are going to say, when you are going to learn something, learn it properly. And if you are an organizer, or you are a shoemaker, or you are a fitting shop, learn it properly. Because when you learn it properly, you achieve. Please, don't be deceived by your faith, man. Join the Zurich Brotherhood. We will enter heaven. We will enter Jannah. And nobody will question us. Because when God bless you with money, you will do good. When you do good, you will get Jannah. Why do good? You get heaven. I urge every human being from the Zurich Brotherhood. Doesn't deprive yourself from your worship. We are Muslims. 
we are Christians, we are Buddhists, we are traditionalists, we are whatever. We all commence on our traditional worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the creator of the universe, the creator of the earth, the creator of the land, the creator of trees, the creator of sister, the creator of everything that we seek on this earth. God says the one who have belief in everything, never underestimate it. God can become chief Nazareth. God can become Kofi. God can become this. Oh, I said, beggar, I come to us. I want to beg. You give me food and eat. I say, oh, Kojo, God will bless you. God should bless you with the riches. God should give you whatever you want. And tomorrow, one day, tomorrow next, and God give you money. And somebody tell you that Kojo is a, is a, is a spiritualist. Kojo, he kills his mother for money. Kojo, he kills his mother for money. Kojo, he will die and go to hell. What, what, what they are saying, it is rather boosting you up. That is what it means. Because he's not, he's not, he's not the creator of riches. He's not the creator of success. He's not the creator of riches. He's not the creator of long life. So whatever they are saying, it rather uplifts you in your spiritual rank. Because that means that they are underestimating God Almighty Allah. They are expecting God. They are expecting Jesus. They are expecting the spiritualists. That's what it means. That means that good things never happen because of God. It's always bad things. That's what our, 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 our mentality always give us. Good things has never happened because of God. And it's bad. When someone kills somebody, oh, this one is the hands of God. Oh, this one is make money. Oh, this one is the hands of the spiritualist. Oh, this one is killing mother. Why doesn't good things always happen because of God? But bad things always happen because of God. Let somebody today, today, he make money. Oh, this one, he kill his mother because of my deeds is fine. But let somebody get accident and say, oh, it's in the house of God. Which one will be God's problem? Which one will be your problem? So every bad one will be God, but good one will be God. It doesn't make sense, my brother. We should always think twice. Let's always open our mind. We shouldn't be able to animals. We should be even children. I'm the people who call me, Chief Nazareth. I'm not going, I don't need anything from you. I have money. I have success. I, yes, I just call you for advice. I ask them, what is the advice? Chief Nazareth, do people kill him and for money? I say, no problem. Tomorrow, buy sheep. Cut the sheep, kill the sheep. Cut the sheep and put it inside your room. And raise your hand, Chief. God, give me money, give me money. And see the sheep that you kill. Where you Where the sheep that you money? So they said you have to wait your money, your mother, and cut your mother and put it in your room. Your mother will spend the you also will get a program for you. You know, you know send your money to you. You will tell your mother, what do you do up? Because you will not know, you will not know the good again. But she will always be my child. You will never kill him and cut his meat because you can't chop the meat. But when you kill Alma, the, the, the spirit will always take the blood and God will always take the blood. Why do we do in the other? Because we share animals, we kill animals. Does God eat the meat? No. Who eat the meat? We eat the meat again and enjoy the meat properly. But the only blood share that we always give to God, that's how spirit is. When you kill it, spirit doesn't eat the meat, we eat the meat. After somebody can come and cheat Nazareth, I, I, I want to become a chief, help me. I tell you, okay, buy four, four cows, buy five sheep, buy this, you buy a can finish. The meat doesn't go into the person's house. I'll cut it and take it to my house. Because my wife chop. I'll cut it and give it to my area. You people should chop the meat because we don't need the meat. God already know we will come down and chop the meat. If we we, 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 we are the order of the meat. We'll chop the meat and even get the area. We'll be running that we'll be chopping the meat. It won't be your problem. Eh? God will no, no send the blood even. But the belief that you have that whatever I'm slaughtering, I'm slaughtering because of God. God will take it. But the meat belongs to we, the imam. We will chop the meat, they will fry the meat. Someone will fry the meat, go give me a girlfriend. Someone will fry the meat, go I ate the very imam, you know, the same brotherhood. That the brotherhood is a success and achievement. That this year, a serious issue fell. That was the reason why the annual celebration was not held. I want us to always pray for our grandfather, the departure of our life, the departure of this planet. That wherever he is, may God grant him Jannah, may God grant him heaven. And we will also remain, we will also go like the way he has gone.
and God shall only grant us whatever we want and grant us Jannah in heaven. And I pray to every human being of the soul God that what you are holy, never underestimate it. What you are holy, you are going to add it. You are not going to subtract it. The adding of whatever you are going to have. Don't underestimate what you are still holy. And let's wait for April to me. Me who add more. What you have never seen before, you will see it. What you have never heard before, you will hear it. What your grandfathers have never seen before, you will see it in your brotherhood this year. Because more things and more things have been delivered. The departure of our grandfather has unleashed so many things to us. Because he was alive holding it. But right now he's not alive. He has unleashed it to us. That means a blessing. So I urge every human being that if you are holding a spirit of the Zulu Brotherhood, never underestimate it. Pray to it. And whatever you want, you shall regret it. On the 15th of May to 20th of May, the annual celebration will be held and everything will be okay. I'm not, I'm not in a happy mood, but I said I want to drop this one for the people to know that it's not intentional. Something came up. That is the reason why the annual celebration was not be able to help. I urge every man with excess patient on the Zoom portal. How he left, I can also go the same way. You can also go the same way. And I will not be happy. You will not be also be happy. But let's give this month a month of this Ramadan we are going to go through. A month of happiness, a month of success, a month of long life. We shouldn't intervene it with this our spiritual aspect. I want everybody to access patience on 15th of May to 20th of May and the annual celebration will be held so that we we'll all enjoy as maximum of whatever we have labored for. And the Zurich Brotherhood will always remain a Zurich family of happiness and long life. I urge every human being the sign of the Brotherhood across my forehead and I cross my chest. Never underestimate the Zurich family. Whole worldwide, somebody called me from Kuwait, that he joined a brotherhood from Kuwait. And when I look at it, I was laughing. He was deceived. I asked everybody, don't be deceived. Join the Zurich brotherhood and your life will never be the same. And your life will never be the same. And your life will never be the same. The Zurich brotherhood is a brotherhood of long life. Prosperity, riches, success, and achievement. I don't want to talk much. They say that a man who doesn't talk much knows what he is about. I don't talk much. Join the brotherhood and you become a little testimony to the Zulu family. I wish you people the best of luck and happy Ramadan and happy Ramadan and happy Ramadan to every Muslim in the Zulu brotherhood. Happy Ramadan, happy Ramadan, and happy Ramadan.